Hi everyone, it's Elan from GSM Promit, and today I'm here to share with you a comprehensive guide on how to use Mac Phone Activation Unlocker to remove activation lock on your iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touch. Not only that, but Mac Phone Activation Unlocker is compatible with iOS 12 up to iOS 16.5. So if you ever bought a second-hand iPhone or you found an iPhone that is linked to the original owner's Apple ID, then this video is going to be helpful. With that being said, let's get the video rolling. To begin with, click the link in the description box below to download the Mac phone software. Once you click on the link, you'll be brought to this page. This is the official website for the tool. So you scroll down, you'll see this prominent button, free trial. Just hit on that uh, to download the tool. Also, the tool is available for the Mac users. So you just toggle this to uh, choose between uh, Mac and then Windows. You can also go through the features of the tool. You can read through all this, and then once you are good, you open the uh, the setup or you begin to install. So you can read through the terms and ag agreement, and then you go ahead and tick this option, I agree, and then you hit next, next again, and then install. All right, sure. So once the installation process is complete, click on finish. By default, it will open this page. You just close that. All right. The tool is pretty straightforward, as you can see uh, from the video. Uh, we have about three um, tabs here. The first one is uh, the bypass, and the second one is turn off camera sound. So this is basically going to help you turn off your camera's uh, sound without any hassle. So uh, we have more tools here. You can check it out yourself. I think we have um, MDM bypass and then Apple ID removal and the rest. You just click on the uh, activation lock tab and then you'll be brought to this page. You just have to connect your device and then you click start. Now the tool is going to switch your device into recovery mode. All right, sure. So once the device is in recovery mode, you have to put the device into DFE mode, uh, device firmware upgrade mode. And this mode, you need to do it manually. To do that, depending on, the, on your device type and model, you have to follow the on-screen instructions over here to put your device into DFE mode. In my case, I'll be going with uh, the home button and the power key. I'll hold those two keys simultaneously and I'll release um, the power key after some few seconds, as you can see on the screen. And I'll keep holding the home key till the device is detected in DFE mode. Once the DFE mode is detected, the tool is going to um, proceed or begin with the jailbreak. The jailbreak process will take some time, so you just have to sit back and relax. Once the jailbreak process is completed, just click on the Start Remove button and then the device is going to switch back into recovery one more time for us to put it into DFU in order to um, bypass the activation lock. So one, last, uh, one more time, you are going to put the device into DFU manually, click Start and then hold the keys, follow the on-screen instructions uh, to um, put the device into DFU mode. All done. So the bypass process is completed. 
and what you need to do next is to just set up your device as a fresh or a newly bought device so that's all for today thanks for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and then give us a like see you guys in my next video peace out